You've had five minutes. <laughs> okay, here we go. The illustrated history of anime pigs, aka most anime have pigs in them. Here is a pig pictured earlier. <laughs> People love drawing pigs. Right back in medieval times, this one's on trial for committing some crimes. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to the bacon later. Was it found guilty? Okay, yeah, so I'm afraid to disappoint fans of Yasuji Maru Maruta's Animal Olympics from 1928. As I cannot find a picture of the pig which is in it. And then apparently we went decades without pigs. Or maybe none have survived since that era. To uh, cover, first of all, the assorted works of Osama Tezuka. There's this character, Hayutan Sugi, or Gordski, who was apparently based on a drawing his sister drew of a mushroom. And it appears throughout Tezuka's works in all sorts of forms, foreign objects, decorations, logos, you name it, it's probably been it. Then we move on to 1960 and Tezuka again, and this is Alakazam the Great, is its uh, English book title. And this pig is called... Let's scroll down. Okay, in the dub he's called Sir Quigley Broken Bottom. Uh, but in the original he's Cho Hakai. Uh, this is based on Tezuka's My Son Goku, as the first of many Journeys to the Wests we're going to see tonight. Uh, and this is the first representation we see of Zubaji, aka Chucho, Cho Hakai, aka Pigsy. And he was the former commander in chief of 80,000 heavenly navy soldiers that was banished to Earth for drunkenly harassing the goddess of the moon. He accidentally gets reincarnated in a sales womb and ends up as a half man, half pig. He traditionally carries a 923 rake as a weapon and can shape change into 36 forms. He uh, gets defeated by Song Wukong, aka Song Goku, and he joins them on the pilgrimage. In this, he turns himself into an elegant gentleman to just seduce, seduce a young woman, who is in turn Song Goku in disguise. <laughs> Sub Looney Tunes antics ensue. <laughs> Now this is listed as Tezuka directing it, but uh, he says he only showed up for photos. <laughs> okay, on next is Hustle Punch, from 1965. This is an attractive Hanna-Barbera cartoon about three animal hobos living in a junkyard, who do battle with the evil professor Gary Gary and his henchmen Black and Niu. And Niu is our pig. And I've got the opening credits to Hustle Punch here. You'll all be coming it in the morning. <laughs> okay, next up, there is other books people read apart from Journeys to the West, and that is Treasure Island. 1965, we get Osama Tezuka's new Treasure Island adapted into a TV special, where all the characters are inexplicably turned into animals. And uh, in this case, the, our pig is the Squire Trelawney. More Treasure Islands later. Next up, more Goku. And another Cho Hakai. This time it's Goku's Big Adventure, which is another adaptation of Tezuka's My Son Goku. This time a TV show that quickly gives up on any pretense of actually ad adapting Journey to the West in favour of wildly animated comedy. And I've got the opening to that too.
More Treasure Island, as I promised. 1971, Animal Treasure Island. In this case, the uh, pig in question is Long John Silver. But you don't have to listen to me tell you about it. There's a mouse who will. Next up, 1976, with the third of the Puss in Boots movies from Toei. And this time is the adaptation of um, Around the World in 80 Days. Who ever thought about a cat going around the world in 80 days? Um, and he takes the bet from the classic caricature of an evil capitalist that is Miss Monsieur Gourmand, who is a uh, fat pig. Okay, next up we've got uh, Manga Seke Mukashi Banashi which is a series where they adapt loads of folk stories and fairy tales. And of course they got round to doing The Three Little Pigs. Okay, uh, next we've got Yataman, uh, the Time Bokan series. And this pig is Odate Buta. So, in Yataman, whenever the villain henchman Boyaki is complimented by his boss, Doronjo, a mechanical pig appears on their mecha's console and says, even pigs can climb trees. Which is uh, sort of the motive of it. It's basically the praise that Doronjo puts on Boyaki in order to achieve the impossible. And the pig is very intelligent and famous too. Did you know it wrote a song? <laughs> That's Yataman for you. And that joke reappears in the other Time Bogan series and the Yataman remakes and the live action Yataman and so on. Okay, Star Zinger 1978. And uh, this pig is uh, this fella here. He is our space show Hakai, known as Don Hacker. And in the dub, it's Porcos, because when they dubbed it, they changed it from Journey to the West in Space to the Three Musketeers in space. <laughs> it's true, yeah, I think it's called Space Kateers, if I remember correctly. And uh, it's well worth a look on the big dub. <laughs> Deep breaths. Quiet, it's very character. Let's move on before they giggle themselves to death. Okay, Dr. Slump now, 1982. 
Uh, this character is hard to pin his name down. I found him called Bootaraboo, Pigsan, Maganibuta, or Pig. <laughs> and he is a pig man dressed in a tuxedo with a loudspeaker strapped to his head. His sole job appears to be announcing the time of day to the citizens of Penguin Village. In the cartoon, you occasionally see a pig doing other things, but I'm not clear as whether this is the same pig. <laughs> I'll let you judge for yourselves. Okay, next up. Tao Tao, 1984. Again, the three little pigs. This is another outing for our building regulation flaunting friends. <laughs> In this show about a mother panda who tells public domain stories to her children. <laughs> Hey. hey! 1986, another Akira Toriyama pig. Who knows, maybe he's the pig in, wandering around Penguin Village doing other stuff. Okay, this is Oolong, for those who don't know. Back when Dragon Ball was still technically a riff on Journey to the West, Son Goku needed a Cho Hakai, and what he got was a shape-changing pervert in a red army uniform. <laughs> never aging, never changing, except for his occasional deaths, he is still perving it up today in Dragon Ball Super. Okay, Ampan Man. This guy's called Bootaman Man. That's all I know about him. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely a pig fan. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is a 1988 uh, movie called Fair Then Partly Piggy. And this pig is called Harry Booter, or Sunny Pig. It was a film based on uh, Shiro Yamada's children's books about a boy who changes the future when he writes in his diary. It's sort of a proto-death note with pigs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Sunny is a pig from the, a pig prince, in fact, from the pig kingdom that was left behind when it rained pigs on the town. We shall get back to this later. Okay, this is, oh, what's this fella's name? He's Kaoru Kumada, but his nickname is the Pig Gorilla. <laughs> from uh, Kitaretsu Dai Haka, which is kind of like a reskinned Doraemon. But he's not really a pig, but he's got a pig in his name. This fella. I can tell all the old people. <laughs> 1989, from Randall One Half, P Chan. He's the teenage practitioner of the Anything Goes martial arts who fell, fell into the cursed hall of a drowned piglet. And his name is Ryoga Hibiki. And he becomes the pet of a Kane Tendo uh, called P-Chan, who he's got, who's got a massive crush on, but he can't admit that he's turning into this pig. And he also has a terrible sense of direction, which is the Shonen Comics male equivalent of being a terrible cook. 1992, Porco Rosso. And the pig is called Porco Rosso. Set in 1930s Italy, it's a Miyazaki film tapping into the dead flying pulp genre, which features an anthropomorphic pig in a world otherwise filled with humans. 1992. Buri Buri Zaymon from Crayon Shin Chan. Now, I wrote down an imaginary friend, he's not really an imaginary friend of Shin Chan. He's like this imaginary popular character, like Shin-chan thinks he's this popular character that the rest of the world knows about. But only he does, and occasionally he shows up in the films. Um, in the early ones at least, the voice actor has passed away and they've not recast him. So he just kind of shows up in the background now. Super Pig! <laughs> AKA Pig Girl of Love and Courage, Tom De Burin. <laughs> and this is uh, Super Pig, or Tom De Burin herself. <clears throat> I would argue this is the strangest magical girl show of 1994. <laughs> uh, a girl carrying Kabuko, oh sorry, Kokubu rather, saves a yellow alien pig called Prince Tom Riano III. In return, he gives her a magical compact that attaches a snout to her face, allowing her to transform into a superpowered pig if she collects 108 pearls from doing good deeds and then she'll be able to turn into a proper superheroine rather than just a pig. <laughs> and do I have the opening credits for that? Of course I do. <laughs>
Okay, that's super pick for you. Okay, moving on to 1996 and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Superman Legend. Okay. Who can remember which one it is? Rocksteady or Bebop? Bebop. Okay. I had to look it up because I could never remember. Yes, Bebop is the one we're talking about because the other ones are rhinoceros and this isn't the anime rhinoceros panel. <laughs> Okay, this was a pair of OAV episodes designed to sell the Super Mutants and Metal Mutation line of toys. The TV series had just wrapped in 95 in Japan, which is why this came out in 96. Seems a bit late from the US and UK point of view. And uh, do you know the replacement for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the Japanese TV schedules? No. Neon Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> So there is in one form in the first OAV, and there he does his sort of metal mutation form, where they sort of become Saint Sayers. Okay, next up, Princess Mononoke. First up, we've got Nargo, a boar god who has turned into a demon. And uh, then later on, we have Pokoto, who's another boar god who takes Nargo's place. And spoiler alert, he always turns into a demon as well. Okay. Remember uh, our, what did we have before? What was it called? It was uh, fair but slightly piggy. This is the same thing, with adaptation. Tokyo Pig was the uh, dub version in 2002. And again, it's Sunny Pig, is now Pig here. And uh, this is the second adaptation directed by Shinichi Watanabe, who you may know from Excel Saga and various other things, generally being Nabashin. Andy, of course, appears in this show as well, as a child. <laughs> and do I have every credits? You bet I do. Ash's Pig Night. Dawn's Momo Swine. Mamo Swine, they go typo. Bianca's Embor. Some Spoinks. <laughs> Any pigs I've missed? Um, yeah. Tepig, Swine or Pila Swine, Grum Pig. Thank you. See, they're all good. See, there you go. I don't know if we've been here or not, I've just done it on Pokemon. <laughs> Okay. No, that was the, that's Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. hey, let's not get into uh, elephant pig factions. <laughs> okay, Katsu. <laughs> 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 
you're lucky I don't have time to clip this. Okay, this is, um, yeah, disturbing tale of two cats, and this is the pig who was unfortunate enough to go on the trip with them. And they run out of food, so they unzip him and start cutting bits of meat out of him. And then later they bludgeon him to death with sticks. <laughs> yeah, it's alive when they're eating it. Hey, One Piece. You wait for years for a pig to show up in One Piece and then two come out at once. Uh, this is the first. These are inhabitants of Thriller Park and they are zombies who've been brought back to life by stealing shadows of living people and putting into the corpses. And this guy is called Boohy Chuck and he looks like he's uh, mounted on the wall but he's actually just sticking his head and his arms through it and the rest of his body's out there at the back. And this is the one he gets more featured, is Lola, who's uh, jealous because the um, invisible uh, lion man who falls in love with Nami, she wants to get married to him. <laughs> okay, next up is Sayuki. Ah, look at this disgusting pig. Look at him. <laughs> and this is Kazuo Minikura's for Shonen adaptation of. Journey to the West, where sometimes they are cowboys. <laughs> and this, of course, is Cho Hakai, because he, that's the pig. And he is the polite and level headed one. Gregory Horror Show. This fella is Pig Gentleman, an awkward and rude customer who appears in the third series. Uh, there's three series of this. And it's the uh, 3D CG anime that got one of the stranger survival horror game spin-offs. Well worth seeking out just to be weirded out. Fruit Basket. The story of a family who are possessed by spirits of the animals of the Chinese zodiac. And this is Kagura Soma, who is an 18-year-old woman who turns into a pig. Now we're in 2001 now. Any guesses how many more things I've got in my padlock? Yeah, we're about halfway through, yes, as well. Because of the explosion of anime past 1999, there are so many pigs. I was saying most anime has pigs. Oh, I've missed out Space Battleship Yamato. Episode 1, there's a pig! <laughs> For no reason, they're just sort of herding a pig around the base. <laughs> Spirit away! This is the story of a girl who falls in love with a river. <laughs> working in a bathhouse for yokai. <laughs> working in a bath bathhouse for yokai. There will be more on bathhouse yokai later. And these are Akio and Yuko Agino, Chihiro's parents, who's the heroine of the piece for those people who, for some reason, haven't seen Spirited Away yet. <laughs> Next up, Tonton, Tsunade's ninja pig. Her power is ninja smelling. <laughs> she is particularly good at spelling, smelling, not spelling. We don't know how her spelling skills are. But we definitely know that she can spell de smell debt collectors. And for those who don't know about Naruto, it's about an orphan who wants to be the best ninja and takes forever to get there. <laughs> Full Moon Wo Sagashite, the magical idol show with added terminal cancer. <laughs> Yeah, for those who don't know, it's about a girl who's given the option of having a tumour operated on her throat and never becoming a great singer, or getting a year of being able to grow into a 16-year-old and become a superstar pop idol, but then you'll die. And this is Gu-chan, who is the pet of the rival idol, Madoka Wakamatsu. Gilgamesh. 70s Shotaro Ishinomori sci-fi manga, muddily adapted with too many digital filters. It involves a conflict between two mysterious organisations, Orga and Gilgamesh. The latter are half man, half god, and made of antimatter. <laughs> These three pigs, Toro, Sukoya, Isamu Fujisaki, and Fuko Amoru, they are the adopted children of Orga's leader. And they were clones birthed by pigs, though Toro discovers he wasn't. But the others, unfortunately, did still have a pig mama. 2003 mythical detective Loki Ragnarok. 
Loki is exiled to Earth as a child by Odin, so naturally starts to work as a detective. <laughs> Other figures of Norse mythology show up, one of which is this fella, Gulin Bursti, the mechanical pig familiar of Freya. 2003 again, Peacemaker Kurigani, about a young boy in the Shisenigumi in 19th century Japan. This is Saizo, the pet piglet of Soji Akita, the first unit captain. I shield 21 to... <laughs> just, make, just be sure we're talking about this character, not this one. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so this is Pigborus. Here in I shield 21, which is a manga about high school American football, which was watered down into a very average anime. Uh, and this pig is Pigbrus, yes, it's the pig that the team coach, this fella, mistook for a missing player, Kogusubi. I mean, Kogusubi is quite small, but just look like a pig. Well, maybe he looks a little bit like a pig, but not that much like a pig. And he becomes the second mascot of the team after he convinces uh, Kerberus, their current dog mascot, not to eat him straight away. He basically sort of points out, if you let me live now, I'll get fatter and then you can eat me later. <laughs> school Rumble! Uh, this was a once popular high school romantic comedy. And this is Napoleon, proving that someone has read a book which wasn't Journeys to the West, Treasure Island, or Three Little Pigs. <laughs> and he's a pig in it. I don't know what he does. He gets, an episode, he gets an episode of his own name in the title, but I looked through it, and he wasn't doing much. He's losing the will at this point. Yes, 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 literally I was losing the will. Oh, but then I saw these ones. <laughs> Yes, you might be saying, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, Bootazooka. Now we're all to guess about what this was about. Any guesses? No, no, no. no. no if, you were, if your guess was a show about tiny anthropomorphic pigs act acting like ants, then you were right! <laughs> okay, so imagine an ant colony, but they're all tiny pigs dressed like humans. <laughs> and it aired on Yahoo Japan and it was to sell toys of these, which is these pictures of. And it was CG as well, really bad CG. Okay, this is how extensive my research went. Okay, Buso Rankin, the show about alchemists that isn't the show about alchemists that other people remember. <laughs> And this pig is Bohiro Watsukino, which is a blink and you miss it cameo of the manga's author's pig alter ego. It's like just a couple of frames in one episode. I uh, saw so he appeared in this one episode, I was like, where the hell is he? I'm sure it can't be that hard to spot a pig. But it was. <laughs> okay, next up, 2007, Clanad. Some sort of sad girl visual novel nonsense that I'll never ever watch. <laughs> and this is Botan, Kiyu's pet ball. And at least the series shows us why keeping wild animals as pets is inadvisable. They grow! <laughs> 2007! That's the right reaction. Take it off a Lagan. A boy from an underground civilization keeps drilling until his drill pierces the sky. And then he drills some more. So these are mole pigs. And they've got the front half of a pig and sort of the bottom half of a mole. But then we also have this fella, Booter, who we, we'd say is a mole pig. He doesn't look like these fellas. He's got like the other bits. So they don't have the curly tails, he has the curly tail. They don't have the blind mole sunglasses eyes, he has that. He's got the mole nose, they've got the pig noses. What is going on? <laughs> it's really confused me. I'll get to him being also a boy in the next, <laughs> next bit of the PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> and also he's got, he has the sp uh, spiral pig's tail, they don't. So he must have the spiral power. <laughs> it is pig's tail. 
And yes, he's also a boy. Okay. Naga I'm losing the will. Anyway, this show. And I'll lose the, you'll lose the will even more when you hear the description of it. A 14-year-old boy lands on an island full of women. Anime ensues. <laughs> This little fella is called Tonkatsu, which means breaded pork cutlet. <laughs> there will be more on inappropriate slash all too appropriate pig names later. Here's the pet, the female lead, Suzu. I have no idea who the chicken is. This is not the chicken panel. <laughs> Uh, Detroit Metal City. A wimpy indie kid is forced to become a death metal superstar by a bullying, a bullying manager and he is a little too good at it. But the pig we're talking about is this fella, whose name is Keisuke Mashimoto, aka the capitalist pig, who is hired as stage decoration and the target of Johannes Krauser's The Second's Abuse, as you see there. But he loves it because he's a masochist. Okay. <laughs> Gaze upon all be in your dreams tonight. <laughs> yeah, this is from a five minute uh, claymation short called Pussycat about a cat, a pig, and a wolf, and his name is Pig. As far as we know, because they don't talk, it's silent. He is a creepy pig guy. He is not as creepy as the wolf. It's on YouTube. Look it up. No. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go. Charani no joke nami mainichi. There once was a show that ran daily for a year that told a different joke from around the world each day. And it was training for young animators. And this was the show. And it had wraparounds with the character Charity and her pets, one of which was this fella, Bath Booter. They didn't get much characterization in the short amount of time they appeared. Next up, the Valkyria Chronicles 2009, adaptation of the tactical RPG. It's kind of like front mission, but instead of robots, you've got pretty girls. Uh, and this is Hans, a poor cavian, which are apparently the airborne cousins of pigs. And he is the mascot of Squad 7. Jewel Pet. 2009 was the first series. It's a magical girl franchise where the focus is on the mascot characters to the point where they often forget to put the magical girl components in. <laughs> Come to my panel on Sunday to find out how bonkers this can get. This pig, however, is real RYL. He was only at the forefront of the series Jewel Pet and Jewel Pet Twinkle, and he's just a background player in all the other shows. She's a female miniature pig jewel pet who apparently represents mind and body purification. Your guess is as good as mine. Don't think that comes through in the show. Yay! Okay. Uh, yes, Pookie. You're correct, that is his name. If I had to look it up, but I didn't know off the top of my head. Mon Han Diary, Giri Giri Feline Village, an anime adaptation of the feline based Monster Hunter spin off. And indeed, this is Pookie. The Poogie expert. What does Poogie do? They're just pets. Nothing. That's what I thought. I didn't think they did much. They didn't seem to be doing much of what I saw. <laughs> well, yeah, I thought they did a game. You go up, you snuggle them, and then they hit you if you do it for too long. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lesson in there. <laughs> Digimon Fusion. Uh, this is Cho Hakai Mon. So yes, we have another Cho Hakai this time as a Digimon, female Digimon in a pig costume, carrying that rake I mentioned earlier. Booter. This was a young animated training project feature in uh, 2011, which featured a sword for hire pig who rescues a fox child from pirates. Oh, looks, oh no, I thought I was out of sync there, but no, here we go. Hunter Hunter, 2011, Pig. <laughs> pig is a uh, pig chimera ant 
Island, who is apparently in charge of preparing humans for the Chimera Queen to eat. It's all pretty grisly. So just off from the side is like a pile of human bodies that he's butchering. Yeah, that art, that art gets really dark. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to go any further, but we actually do see him butchering a character later. Let's go sort of the same amount of darkness, but in a comedy form. Uh, you're being summoned as Azul San in the second TV series. We get Urino, Urino, who is a demon that causes despair, mainly in the form of projectile shitting blood. <laughs> Which is what's all behind him. <laughs> Good clean fun. Okay, where are we? Oh, look right. Only 20 miles to go. <laughs> Sengoku Collection, 2012. Famous characters from the Warring States period are now cute girls. But also, characters from the Romance of the Three Kingdoms are also now cute girls, as we have Liu Bei. That's right, the character from Romance of the Three Kingdoms, and now she's a maid who turns into a pig at night. And there she is. That is what, yes, quite right, right, that's what I wrote, because anime. Yeah. That's her in her pig form. Oh, nice. yeah. Axel World, a light novel nerd affirming nonsense about augmented reality, massive multiplayer on lives that we to live, fighting <laughs> game. Anyway, this is Pink Pig, the network avatar of the hero of the story, Haruyuki Haruarita. Don't know any more about that, because I'm never watching it. <laughs> Talking of things I'll never watch, Tarry Tarry! A group of students form a choir during their final summer of high school. This is a piglet who is owned by a ridiculously over the top Italian man. <laughs> In a scene that comes off pretty racist. <laughs> okay, 2013, Silver Spoon, a slice of life comedy set in an agricultural college. And this fella here is Pork Bowl. <laughs> he is the piglet hand raised by the protagonist, Hugo Hachiken. And then, this is Pork Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> He's a pig. It's agricultural college, that's what's going to happen to him. Disney Song Song. <laughs> I don't really know what this is. I think it's a thing for selling toys. They did a Christmas animation, and one of these sub sums was Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. You got Tigger, you got Pooh, and I guess that's Donald Duck. What? <laughs> <laughs> Into the beauty of Boo Boo He. Okay, so Wizard Barristers, age 17, half Japanese, half Canadian, Cecil Sudo becomes the uh, youngest Wizard Barrister. And this is not her familiar, it's another character's familiar. She has a frog familiar who is a lot less weird looking. Not by much. No, not by much, no. But uh, Boo Boo He is a character called uh, Mitsuhisa, it's familiar. Hey, and the pig, which is the reason I decided to do this panel. Because <laughs> he is the top pig. Okay, 2012. To 14, rather. Seven Deadly Sins. Arthurian legends are given a dose of pretty much every shonen hit from the last 30 years. And this is Hawk. And uh, he's a talking pig. He doesn't know why he can talk himself. He also has various nicknames, one of which is Captain Leftovers. <laughs> And he is basically the third build lead in the show. He's an absolutely great character. And he has a mother, who also is in pretty much most episodes. Hawk Mama, who is a giant green pig with uh, an inn on top of her. And again, more mysterious than Hawk himself. It's all very strange. I think he's supposed to be a reference, everybody's like a reference to something in an Arthurian legend. I think he is probably uh, Gawain but it's a big stretch because it's a pig. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so, I'm afraid I don't have the clip now. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Star Wars Crusaders 2014. Now, one of the characters, John Pierre Polnareff, has a lot of toilet troubles throughout the series. <laughs> and in India, he, this is his toilet trouble in India, is that there's a pig sticking his head out of the toilet. <laughs> Look it up, it's a real thing which happens. No, it says oink. <laughs> uh, okay, Yokai Watch, the Pokemon Killer, and your new god. <laughs> this is Nobosatonman, a pig yokai that causes bath water to be dizzyingly hot when he gets in. <laughs> He's pretty much one. <laughs> yeah, he is a bastard. Hey. Okay, back to Yataman. Um, this time we've got Oda Sama, or Lord Oda, or Sir, Sir Oda, how you want to call him. And he's the pet pig of our leads. It's basically a sequel to the original Yataman set way in the future, with a focus on the descendants of the original villains. And the pig is a tribute to that mechanical pig we saw earlier. Oh, not long now to go. Show by Rock. Right, how to sum up Show by Rock. A 15 year old girl is sucked into her smartphone, turned into an anthropomorphic cat, and joins a rock band managed by an egg. <laughs> it's well worth a watch. <laughs> And these are three recurring characters who are like the fan girls of one of the bands in the show called Trichronica. I don't know what the show makers are trying to say about making the fan girls three picks. Probably nothing good. And here's the final one, I think. A Lion Life, which is a CG anime which I just found a trailer of. And, and then there was a second video which was longer. I don't know whether it was the thing or whether it was just a longer trailer. But I have the trailer for you. It's about a pig who wants to be a lion. Someone said, Have you got the scene from Ashton and O'Jo? I said, No, and don't add me more panels, but do tell me what episode that's in. Because in Ashton and O'Jo, a man punches a pig in the face. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> 
And then that's all, folks. If you want more nonsense from me, we're with less talking in between and that's Travaganza is back at Kinecon Sunday, the 2nd of August at 6 o'clock in the large room. There will be puppets, there will be karaoke, there will be moustaches, and there will be Pikachu. And if you want to find out more from me, I have podcasts at Dynamite in the Brain. Two of them, one called Dynamite in the Brain and the other one called Let's Go Goku, where we talk about uh, Dragon Ball Weekly. I'm on Twitter at awesome underscore engine, and you can follow me on Tumblr, Linkin Park in the end, amv.tumblr.com, where I am slowly collecting every single Linkin Park in the end, amv, on YouTube. All that's over there. And God willing, I'm going to do a panel on it at Alicorn next year. Also next year, let's meet anime cats.